I think the whole process that you just shared sounds very intelligent and incredible, but also really intimidating. If Especially if I'm like a new artist, I'm like, oh man, you're telling me I got to have all these things, like I got to be doing all these things to make my pie work. So I'm interested in hearing you break down, like how would you get started? First of all, understand that, yes, it's a lot, but this is all a process. When any of us started, when I started, when you started, we didn't have a giant list of VIPs to call. We just had an idea that we were excited about. I wanted to be a music publicist. Yeah. And I didn't even know what that meant. I just, it sounded really good and I thought I'd be good at it. Okay, so great. Then you go and you create all of those things. And it's also a journey. No one comes out of the gate with all of those things intact. And yeah. You know, what I always advocate for, again, the reason why I talked about like the pie pan or the tin or the the beautiful ceramic dish that holds it all, that, that, the reason why I said, start with your brand, start with your fans, start by really understanding yourself. That also means like, have a really good bio, have a great signature story. That's a great place to start. Mm. Because and please, all of you going, what about the music? What, she isn't talking about the music. I am already assuming that you have the great music. That is the kitchen before you even bring the pot. <laughs> the analogy okay. goes like, so far back. <laughs> no, like we're, I'm talking about you already have the music, right? Um, so then this is about creating those things. And then I like to go... I think there's a, a big misnomer when you're building a business, any kind of business. And that, that misnomer is we go to the thing that we suck at the most and we try to strengthen that first because mm. like, that's the thing that's like outstanding, driving us crazy. Like, Oh my God, I, I don't, I'm not on TikTok. I should go do that. Well, mm -hmm. maybe, but like, are you really good at, at great videos and lighting and editing and pithy things? And do you know how to follow trends and you're going to do the dance and you're going to do the thing? Like, if you're not good at that and you don't really want to do that, forcing yourself to do that because 250 music blogs said that that's the way to break, ignore that advice. Hmm. Go with where you're strongest first and strengthen that. So if you're visual, maybe it's Instagram. If you're like you, John, and you're a great, strong writer, maybe you want to start a newsletter or a blog or do some really long form social media posts that are meaningful because they're easy for you. So we always say when you're creating this pie, lean into what is already working or what appeals to you the most first. Because mm. if you start with, I should really understand finance and you know learn QuickBooks, if that makes you want to throw up in your mouth, don't do it. You're going to hate, you're going to hate doing all the mm. other stuff. Um, so it's a build, not, I mean, it's amazing. I've worked with artists. I'm working right now with a world-class artist who has 13 albums out on 13 different record labels. She tours the world. She makes a full-time living and she didn't have like seven of the eight pieces in place. Mm, yeah. So, you know, it, it doesn't mean that you can't succeed, but it's a good thing to aspire to, but don't sweat it if you don't, but just understand. I didn't realize when I was really young and I started my business full of, you know, moxie and passion that I also had to understand how to scale a business and I had to understand how much money to charge. That's all learnable. And most mm -hmm. of what I'm talking about in this pie is thank God learnable because God given talent and like where, where you're creating from. Yeah. Maybe you learned how to play piano when you were four, but it's not learnable really like with your art, you could learn Ableton, but your art that you're bringing forth is not learnable. Figuring out what stupid hashtags to put on Instagram posts, learnable. <laughs>